have some developing news out of Lawrence tonight, where police are investigating the death of a high school student found shot to death in her family's apartment. David McAnally talked to a neighbor who was there when the girl's mother found her daughter's body. Lawrence police got the call about 7.15 Wednesday morning. When officers and medics arrived, unfortunately, the, the victim was unresponsive and did not survive her injuries. A 16-year-old girl, Shiloh Britton, with a gunshot wound, found dead in her family's unit at the Mason Garden Apartments 42nd and Post. At 7, I just heard the mom just screaming, yelling, help me, help me, help me, my baby, my baby, my baby. And I'm like, Jesus, Jesus. So I just ran up and I just started praying. We have been told that there, there may have been uh, a... Uh, some neighbors may have heard a possible disturbance uh, in, in that apartment throughout the course of the night. Um, uh, don't believe the police were called on that. Lawrence police still working to determine if that disturbance had anything to do with the shooting. This is a 16-year-old girl. Right. Tragedy no matter what. And there's a grieving family here. Seeing her walking up and down the sidewalk, she was very, very mannered, always spoke. She was a happy child, so I don't know what, who could have done this to her. On social media Thursday, friends mourning, quote, sorry for your loss and keep your head up and she's watching over you. I'm sure that happened. Shiloh attended Lawrence Township schools. The district out with a statement tonight, quote, the MSD of Lawrence Township was saddened to learn of the death of a current student Thursday morning. Our deepest sympathies go out to the family, friends, and teachers. Trained counselors are available at impacted buildings to talk with any of the students or staff members in need of support. Police will spend the next 24 hours continuing to interview people looking for other possible witnesses, also serving search warrants to pin down the location of the weapon that was used in this case, an autopsy and the official cause of death is due in this case tomorrow. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Former